Hi guys, this time we'll be reviewing the linear power supply from a supplier called Sanctabel uh, with uh, Arcor transformer inside. Uh, I bought this linear power supply because I needed another one and uh, it was quite cheap. There was a significant sale. Uh, I got it for something like uh, $100, a little bit less than $100 actually. Uh, this is not exactly cheap LPS. It's uh, far more expensive than these LPSs because of the simple fact that it has twice the power output uh, of uh, Breeze uh, LPSs. The Breeze are 25 watts, this one is 50 watts. Uh, okay, so what do we have in front? The only one thing in front, LED uh, with status uh, lighting in red. <coughs> At the back we have two parallel power outputs using standard uh, car connectors and uh, airplane connectors, I think. Uh, screw on type. Uh, okay, and we have power switch and uh, IEC outlet. Uh, I've already removed the screws so we can take a look inside. And what do we have inside? Inside we have the Arcor transformer. Uh, as you can see, it has a special shape. The transformer core is that ring, almost ring here, kind of like donut maybe and we have two windings for the transformer so that's what's special about it and that's what makes it really heavy it's small but it's heavy uh, as for the rest of the pcb <coughs> we have standard set of uh, four dials uh, for uh, zener circuit circuit uh, we have a set of uh, capacitors bank of capacitors these are made are supposed to be made by Nijikon. I'm supposed to because you never know uh, with the devices coming from China if you are dealing with the real capacitors or fake capacitors from some local production. Anyway, these are rated uh, 2000 and 200 uh, microfarads each uh, for 50, 50, sorry, uh, 55 volts. Uh, the device is using uh, LDO, basically it's uh, LM317T LDO uh, with the output uh, regulated by this uh, variable resistor. Uh, I bought it uh, set up for 9 volts uh, for, for my uh, Syncer SU6 device, uh, but you can get them uh, in uh, different configurations with different output voltages and uh, using this pot you'll be able to change the uh, output voltage if the need arises. Uh, then we have a power transistor for current pass-through uh, for uh, currents larger than 1.5 uh, ampere which is the limit for LM317 and then we have set of EMI filters uh, removing uh, all small uh, high frequency ripples uh, from the output. Uh, and speaking about the ripple, uh, I've uh, checked and measured this device and uh, two other uh, linear power supplies that I own, and this one uh, actually has the lowest uh, ripple. Uh, maybe it's because it's using uh, Arcor transformer, maybe because of the rest of the circuit. But uh, basically, um, it has uh, less than 5 millivolts uh, ripple, which is in my book excellent, especially for such price device. So I'm using this to power my Syncer SU6 uh, digital to digital converter. Uh, that's supposed to have supercapacitor inside, so this device is used only to charge the supercapacitor. Uh, but still, very nice build. <clears throat> if you're looking for something with twin outputs and a bit larger output power than cheap breeze devices, I would recommend getting this one. Uh, it has uh, also excellent uh, reviews for other from other buyers. Uh, as you can see, the pass-through power 
transistor, is using uh, the casing uh, as a heatsink, which is smart and nice. And I think that's all. The device is uh, obviously very quiet, uh, very quiet meaning no sound at all, no harm from uh, toroidal uh, arco transformer. And the voltage, uh, output voltage is very stable. All in all, recommended, especially if you can get any type of uh, sale, uh, sale on this device or you'll get some coupons to lower the price even further. That's all. See you soon.